So here we're going to give you a basic introduction to how, on how to use your XG glass washer. Very simple to use, there's not really much you have to do. Um, and as everything that comes from WashTech, you do get quite a comprehensive instruction manual with it, which does you know, clarify absolutely everything. But what we're going to do now is just go through the basic um, using the dishwasher and how to clean and drain it at the end of the day. Okay, so very simple. I'm just going to go through the main control panel with you um, and the lights that are on there. It, it is pretty straightforward. We've got a power indicator, so when we're on, the power indicator will be lit. We've got a wash tank indicator, so when the wash tank is the temperature, that um, light will illuminate. And then we've got a dishwasher or glass washer, I should say, ready to go. Obviously, once that is illuminated, you are ready to start washing. The final light across here is um, that we're running a cycle and that should be operating once you operate or once you press the button to run a cycle, that will light up for the duration of the one minute cycle. Okay, so to operate this dishwasher it is very simple. Once you've got your glasses loaded in the rack, you're just going to push the rack in, shut the door, making sure it clicks shut. And then we've got one simple button down there, which is a run button. You'll press that and your cycle will start um, and your light will illuminate once it's running. Once the dishwasher goes quiet, the light will go out and you'll know that the cycle has finished. At that point, open the machine, take out the glass rack, put where you like and away you go again. What you don't really want to be doing is leaving your glasses and your clean dishes just sitting there in the actual glass washer. So the end of day procedure is very simple. Um, what we're gonna do now is just basically drain the machine um, and get it ready for use the next day. So what we'll do, we just open the door and press the drain button here. It will come out. Once you've pressed that, the machine will automatically start draining and you can see that because your door will open. If we can get into the back here, once the water level is below this, um, this overflow unit, we just pull that out and let the machine drain until um, the water is out. What you'd then do is you can take the actual second drain filter out as well, shut the door, turn off the drain button and turn off the machine. Very, very simple. And then with these two units here, you can go away and just wash them in your sink. And we always find it's important to put them back in during, uh, once you've done the drain, so the machine is ready to be used again the following day or later on in that day. So the WashTech XG has a combined wash and rinse arm and that is this unit just here. Now if you find you're not getting great results and you've tried you know, draining it and making sure there's fresh clean water in there, you could check to see if any of this is blocked. And it's also worth giving this a clean you know, every couple of days as well to make sure that it's not you know, getting any of those small particles which are left in there. It's very simple, everything is finger tight so if the camera can see, we just undo this in the middle until you can lift the whole thing up and it comes out. So we've got the main wash arms here, and then we've got the main rinse arms. All these um, nozzles do come off, so you can check that they're clean and check there's nothing in there, but you must make sure you put them back on again. Um, these units actually power the wash arm around, so obviously as you can guess, if they're missing, then it's not really gonna give you a suitable job. Um, once you've done that and you've checked it and it's cleaned and rinsed them out underneath the tap, you simply put it back on, and tighten this back up. Now again, everything is finger tight, so you should never need any tools to do any of this. And once it's back on, you're good to go again. Okay, the final thing I just wanna cover is um, just the serial number. So should the worst ever happen and you need to place a warranty call, you can place that directly with Arcus Australia, and that's how we prefer, and we can manage that warranty process for you. But when you call up, you will need your model number. In this case, it's an XG, and you will need your serial number. That will enable us to see when you purchase the machine, how old it is, and obviously whether it was still in warranty or not.